Does everybody know what time it is? It's YouTube time. Hey, I don't know if you planned out this time to watch this YouTube video or if it just popped up and you're making the time, but either way, I appreciate it. Today's video is about making time for the things that are important and planning your future. Let me say it one more time. Plan your future. If you show me your calendar, I'll show you your future. This is one of the biggest changes that I made in my career as a graphic designer. We can get caught up in La La Land, surfing through Instagram and surfing through Facebook and Facebook groups and on the timeline and on portfolio sites, doing nothing, doing a whole lot of nothing and we burn up a significant portion of our day. The truth is, even myself, we don't get the efficiency out of our day that we really could be. And a lot of that is because of the reason of not having your schedule and your day planned out. This is a big change that I've made for myself in a couple of years, so I'm gonna give you a few tips. I'm gonna talk about that today. So, Mondays. Monday is a perfect day for me to create YouTube videos like this. Whether you're seeing this on a Wednesday or you're seeing this on a Friday, I batch all of my videos on Mondays. So my Mondays are taken up for media day. Yes, it's one of my favorite days of the week. It's the day I get to pour into you guys, sharing my ideas, sharing my thoughts, and helping lift up this community. Because as they say, rising tides raise all ships. So I wanna help our industry and I wanna help folks like you. So media day. So let's just say from about 8 a.m. when I wake up, I'm actually up before that, but 8 a.m. when I start my work day until about 11 a.m., I am working on my plans and in order, my video plans. And in order for me to do that, I'm taking this time here to consume content. I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm watching tutorials, I'm watching courses, I'm, I'm studying, I'm reading sometimes. I like to take some time to read or listen to an audiobook in the morning. And I'll take an hour to three hours to do that. And then from 11 to 12, I'm at lunch. So I'm eating some delicious food, I'm usually going out to eat. I'm very bad about packing my own lunch. And then from noon on, I'm in recording mode. So I'm getting into recording mode and I create content until about 4 p.m. We're actually approaching that time now from about 12 to 4 p.m. So that gives me four hours to create, to strategize, to plan, and to really come up with what I wanna talk about like this video today. So my, my Mondays are all media day. And then from four to 6 p.m., because I usually end my days about 6 p.m., I'm typically making follow-up calls. So I have some phone calls I need to follow up on. I'm checking emails. I gotta make sure that I don't neglect people on Mondays. Uh, it's really important that I do that. And then sometimes I'll do that very early in the morning uh, before I get my day started, before I'm actually at my work day. I'll just kind of skim through some emails, something that needs to be answered immediately. But my day is very well planned out on Mondays. Now, we jump over to Tuesdays, and this is another very important day because this is for me is my consulting day and my sales day. This is the day that I spend focused on generating revenue for my business. Uh, and another thing I forgot to mention here on Mondays is I have a 9 a.m. meeting that I do every week with my team. And that typically goes about from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So I forgot about that, but this is an important Monday morning meeting that I do from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So it's important if you have a team, you wanna set that time aside and have that consistent routine. But over on Tuesdays, I don't have any meetings with my team. The only things that I do as I'm focused my morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., I'm focused on prospecting. That is what my, my morning looks like. I'm responding to emails, following up, looking at my LinkedIn messages. LinkedIn is the way that I generate most of my business. Little tip there for you. I have a video on that. If you guys wanna drop a title card in there, I would encourage you guys to check that video out. Uh, and then from 11 a.m. to 12, I go to lunch with my wife typically. So I like to take that time to go to lunch with my wife or a client, either way I can fill in that time. And then from about 12 p.m. until about 3 p.m., I'm usually in consulting sessions. So I'm spending, that's where I book my consulting sessions and then typically I'll have like a four o'clock as well. But one of the most important things that I wanna make sure you guys do is you give yourself enough room in between these meetings. So one of my mentors, Brian, he told me this a long time ago, it's been about a little over a year ago. He said, you need to leave a buffer a half an hour before and a half an hour after your meetings to actually plan for the meeting and to wrap up the meeting and send an email wrapping up that meeting. When you do meetings with people, 
How many times do you actually get somebody that sends you a follow-up email after that meeting? It's very rare. If you do that, you're gonna stand out from your competition. You're gonna look like you have your stuff together and you are, you do have your stuff together. So just taking that quick moment, that half an hour after your meeting to wrap up, summarize everything that you guys talked about and email it over to show that you're actually wrapping up and you acknowledged everything is gonna help you really build that strength and that rapport with that client. So I wanna encourage you guys to leave some room in between your meetings. Give yourself an hour, half an hour before the meeting and a half an hour after. So make sure that if you have a one hour meeting, it's not one hour. It's two hours, so you need to plan accordingly and make sure you use your time correctly. Now, let's jump over to Wednesday. Wednesday is a big day for me. So Wednesdays are the days that I typically, once I'm sending out a proposal on Tuesday, I will call my client and follow up with them. I follow up and say, hey, let's go through the proposal and talk about it. That's how I typically like to deliver proposals, not just sending the proposal and just waiting to hear back. I like to go over it with them. So I'll schedule some meetings for that. I also schedule consults. So from about 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., I have consultations with clients. I do this pretty typically on Wednesdays. Um, and I, it's something I actually really like doing in the mornings is getting those consultations out of the way, the branding blueprints, the marketing strategy sessions, things like that. Then I have to wrap up that meeting. So usually by like 11 to 12, um, I have some sort of thing going on like at the foundry where I'm teaching youth or I'm working on more content ideas for my academy. So I've been working on this academy for quite a long time for Instagraphics and now I'm taking my Wednesdays from noon until four for content around my courses. So I'm building courses, I'm building trainings and all that kind of stuff. So I take that time from 12 to 4 p.m for that co course content creation. And then again, from four to 6 p.m., I'm doing end of day wrap up. Now, one of the things that I didn't really mention here in detail on Wednesdays is I spend a lot of my time on Wednesdays doing prospecting. So after I get those proposals out of the way and I've pitched all those and I do my, my actual consultations, then from there, I spend the rest of my day prospecting for new clients. You have to make time in your calendar at least once a week, but hopefully you're doing it at least three or four times a week for prospecting. This is gonna keep your pipeline full, keep the conversations coming in, and it's important that you not just get all that information, but you put it into something. So if you're not using a CRM, you're really only hurting yourself, get a CRM so you can take all that activity, you can take all that effort and put it into somewhere where you can track it. So that's what my Wednesdays look like. Then Thursdays, again, are my busiest day of the week typically because I'm getting close to the end of the week and I'm doing more consultations. So I usually spend my first nine, 9 a.m. to about probably noon just doing consultations with clients. I spend an hour to two hours with a client doing consultations. So you can see here, I spend a lot of my time in meetings. Oh, and I forgot, on Wednesdays, I also have another reoccurring meeting with my team as well. And then I do the same thing on Fridays. I have a meeting from nine to 10 a.m. So you can see here I have Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I have meetings with my team. This is the time to connect, to keep things, uh, keep on top of things. So I make sure I'm not losing any momentum or forgetting about anybody. And then the rest of my time I'm spending doing prospecting. So I have prospecting here. I have meetings in here. So my day, five days a week, is completely planned out almost every moment of the day. I know when I'm creating my course content, I know when I'm doing my YouTube content, I know when I'm doing my consultations, and I actually have my Calendly link, which is what I wanted to lead this all to. I have a Calendly link that I use for my 15 minute discovery calls, for my half an hour sessions, as well as my branding blueprint, my marketing sessions, and my consultations. So I have these five different kinds of meetings, four to five different kinds of meetings that I do for people, and I have my Calendly set up around my calendar. I have built my business around my life. It's really important that if your business is the most important thing in your life and that's running your whole life, you're gonna be miserable, you're gonna get burnt out. And so you really need to design your future and design and plan what your future looks like with your calendars. If you wanna be able to take your Wednesdays off with your wife and go to lunch, I do Tuesdays or Wednesdays depending on which day she's free. I like to make that time every week during the week in the middle of my day to go to a lunch and just have some time with her. And then I like to make sure that my Mondays are totally saved up. And then Fridays, I call those Freedom Fridays. You give yourself a little bit of flexibility, take a little bit of that pressure off. A lot of times I'm speaking on Friday, so I have speaking events, right? So I kind of block those out for speaking. I have um, more, more tutorials that I can do on that day. I like to just kind of spend the day learning, right? Your Fridays can be a little bit more freeform, but this is where I can kind of be a little bit flexible and not have everything so structured. So I'll actually come in here and I'll leave a couple slots open for meetings if I need to plug in a meeting. And if I don't have a meeting, that just gives me more free time on my calendar where I can just 
kind of do whatever I want to do. If I want to go out and skateboard, if I want to go out and meet some clients, if I want to go prospect, or if I just want to go watch more YouTube videos like this, I can do that. So it's really important that you schedule out your day, that you leave time in between each meeting, a half an hour before and a half an hour after to really make sure that you have enough room to follow up with your proposals, to write the proposals, to prepare for those meetings because you want to show up prepared. So this has helped me a lot in my business. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I hope that you find this video very valuable because it was very helpful for me when I learned this stuff. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.